Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Dragon Age 2. In the last video, well, bad things happened. <laughs> we killed the Keeper of the Elves. Meryl is in a fairly rough spot, and now all the Elves are out to kill us. As you can see, they're tired of Meryl, and they think she's a big baddie, and they are uh, trying to take her down. And obviously, we're not going to allow that. That would be very silly. But it's quite a sad situation. But all of these elves, all of Meryl's people have decided she's evil and must be destroyed. <laughs> to be targeted like this by your own folks. It's fairly horrible. Anyways, that's the situation. It's far too early in the video to be talking <laughs> quite so much. There's a lot of elves. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna have to kill Master Hen. Oh no, Master Hen, no! Master Hen, we were friends. I'm not sure we ever were friends, but we were friends in my head. I know, Meryl, I'm sorry. Master Hen! No! Meryl cannot be in a good place emotionally right now. I'm glad we ch checked with Master Hen at the end as well to make sure... Uh, he didn't have any gear that we really wanted because I think we would have uh, lost that opportunity now, given he's, you know, dead. God damn, I did not expect to have to slaughter all the daily shelves. I wonder if there's a way around that. If we'd kept the keeper alive and brought her back to camp. Like I said, I didn't intend to kill her. <laughs> so, actually, I wonder if we, I'm going to save it. I wonder if we have an auto save. Where's that? When, when was that? I'm just gonna load. Um, I'm, let, me, let, me, let me do a hard save just in case. On proper save, which we've not saved for. Uh, wait, let me let me have a look at this. Tw that was the 20th of July, so that was 13 days ago. And that was 12 hours in, and I'm now about 40 hours in. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of the game. Save. All right, let me let me let me just try this. I'm, I'm curious to see if we can just see what would have happened. Obviously, we're not going to. <clears throat> You know, we're going to stick with the decision we've made, of course. As we tend to do in these situations. Except that one time in Dragon Age Origins with the cat. But other than that, we're going to stick with the decision we've made. But I, I, am, I am curious to see what would have maybe gone differently if we hadn't clicked the option. We didn't really mean to click anyway, so... I mean, I did mean to click it, but I didn't... Understand the repercussions. I should have guessed you'd turn this way. Oh. Oh. So if I take a responsibility. Oh. <laughs> that's interesting as well. If I had taken responsibility for what had happened, the elves would have even attacked us. Wow. I really have picked, like, the worst possible options in order to get every elf possible killed. I just thought, I mean, it isn't my responsibility. Like, and I didn't, I didn't not pick it because I didn't want to protect Meryl. I'm happy to take responsibility for the sake of protecting Meryl. No, I don't think I've got an old enough save. I do, but I'd have to go all the way back. So never mind. Um, it was more just, you know, let's tell the truth. This is what happened. She was possessed by a demon. We had no choice. We had to kill her. Right? That is the fact of the matter. So, I don't know. Oh well. I'm sorry, Meryl. <laughs> I feel like we could have got you out of this quest in a slightly better state than you were in. But you know what? She was never truly respected by her, her elves. 
Let's get you back home. Hopefully she's okay. I can't imagine she's okay, but hopefully she's okay. The quest says Meryl friend or foe. Now, I love Meryl, so I'm always going to defend Meryl. But maybe she won't defend me. It doesn't help to hear it, but this was just a misunderstanding. Why didn't any of them listen to me? All this time, I thought I could help them, save them, but they chose to destroy themselves in order to escape my help. They weren't listening to reason. There was nothing you could have done. No, I know that. Maybe. Maybe it's time I stop living for them. No keeper, no clan, no people. I have nobody but you. What will I do now? There are plenty of elves in Kirkwall who could use your help. That's true. The Dalish always say we're the only true elves. And I've lived here for years and never thought. I've barely even looked at them. I feel like such a fool. Thank you. That worked out a lot smoother than I expected it to be. I thought I'd go in quite nice because I figured going in harsh in this situation is probably a mistake. Uh, right, okay. I think we are going to do best served cold. We are back on our main mission to the gallows. And we're going to go chat to Orsino, who said there's a problem with the circle, I believe. And he and the other mages, or him and his people, his immediate people, are being contained by Knight Commander Meredith in the uh, in the um, the gallows bit down here. I guess Meryl, yeah, well, we seem pretty set with Meryl. really thought that was going to go so much worse. <laughs> she got over the deaths of her people very easily. It's a bit of a shame the mirror never did much of anything. We still haven't... I mean, it could still act as a portal, right? And I really thought Morrigan and Flemeth were going to be a bigger part in this game. Which is why I'm thinking there must be quite a lot of main quests still to go. Because I, do, I don't see a world where Flemeth in particular doesn't show up again, right? Given her position at the start of the game. Hmm. Thank you for coming, champion. Few will associate with me now that I am the focus of Meredith's ire. Which leaves me in a difficult position. She is not entirely wrong. I know some of my people are using dangerous means to oppose her. But I cannot seek the Templar's aid without making every mage a target. What are they doing? All I know is numerous mages have left the Circle at night, sometimes for days at a time. I'd rather not follow our Knight Commander by leaping to the worst possible conclusion. But the idea of blood magic has crossed my mind. You need some assistance against traitors in your ranks? Traitors? Perhaps. Rebels? Certainly. I don't know if they seek Congress with demons or merely a walk in the moonlight. Walking's not so bad. Even mages need exercise. <laughs> All I know is that a meeting is happening tonight in Hightown. I would go myself, but should I leave the tower without permission, Meredith would call it proof of my involvement. So I shouldn't slit my wrists and dance naked under the moonlight just to fit in? If that's what you intend, perhaps I'll join you after all. I got Just that the nature of this meeting. <laughs> you needn't interrupt unless you find proof of something sinister. I pray not. Or Meredith will have what she needs to justify the right of annulment. Okay, okay. What a line that was. I don't know if they see Congress with demons or simply to walk under the moonlight. It's one of those lines that I want to say in my real life, but it's very hard to justify. How do you squeeze that into reality? Next time I see someone going out for a walk at night, I will... Do you see Congress or demons or simply to walk under the moonlight? I'm going to keep it in mind. And I will not. But every time I say that in a game, because the line goes hard, I think, right, I'm going to try to integrate this into my real life. It never actually happens. 
just not how life works. The raiders who plague the waters of the waking sea in the Amaranthine Ocean are based out of the chaotic Ravini city. Ravini city of Lomarin. I wonder where else we'll go in Dragon Age. We've been to Ferelden. We've been to the Free Marches. I don't know where Inquisition is set. Must be said. I've got no idea. Guess we'll find out soon, eh? No XP. <laughs> I just need that one more piece of champion gear and we can decide what we're going to do with gear. Because there's, of course, there's that robe in the, um, in the Black Market Emporium, which I'm trying to decide whether it's worth it or not. But I need to see the champion's gear. I need to see the full set I've got at the moment. I need to compare that with the robe. And we're going to pick between those three armor sets, essentially. We may end up mixing and matching a little bit. It depends if the set bonus is good enough. The set bonus for this current set is very, very strong, is all. It's going to be hard to supplant it, I think. But supplant it we may. Oh, the meeting with Templars. That's weird. Someone's coming. The champion. We know you're spying for Orsino. Run. We'll handle this. Don't want to fight you, numpty. Oh, my God. God, I don't, Meryl just obliterated those mages. Why is the Templar Lieutenant with them? Why would the mage, why would they not work for Zeno? Would they think he's being too soft? Oh, Meryl, you've had to kill your people. Now I have to kill mine. There's got to be more than this. Oh, there we go. Protection of the faith. Extra runes. Oh, it's a bastard. Uh, torn note found in a conspirator's pocket. Will not tell you again. Not safe to bring new recruits from meetings. Meredith has eyes everywhere. Bring anyone who claims to be against her to Gardibali's warehouse at night. We must ensure their loyalty, lest Meredith discover us before we're ready to confront her. Okay, but if you're working with Meredith, why would you not... Low town docks, okay. Why would you not want to side with Orsino, who is obviously against Meredith? Although, again, maybe I think they think Orsino's trying to placate Meredith rather than incite the rebellion that the mages maybe feel they truly need. Because when nothing works, violence is the answer. I'm not sure how leftist that is so for me, but I do believe that inherently. It has to be true. It just has to be. It depends on what, your violence has to be controlled, though. I'm well placed. Sorry, I need a beverage. I need to... I'm doing a... I mentioned briefly in the last video, I'm doing an EC stack, which is ephedra caffeine. But it dehydrates you like crazy, so you need to keep your water up throughout the day. Fedra, which fun fact, it's not even legal. <laughs> but it's illegal in the US. I don't think it's illegal in this country, but you can't buy it in this country. You have to, I have to import it from, I think, Mexico, honestly. <laughs> but it's a metabolism retainer, as it were. Bonk. Loot 
the bodies. I guess by the time you guys see this, I'll be far enough away that I can talk about this anyway. Uh, no one takes back what is rightfully ours. We start in the docks. Okay, yeah, I just keep finding these like random mass little groups that need defeating. And okay, we just found another one, which I guess we'll go handle now. Um, okay, I'm gonna talk about it briefly because it's it, 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 oh, Kunari sword, because <laughs> it is what's going on in my life. Ah, oh, it's the final one as well. Awesome. Oh, I'm glad we got those. I'm still worried. That last one would have been easy to miss. Um, my fitness has been slacking for a little while. I, I rebounded really badly from like, I was in a really, really good place. You know that holiday I went on last year? You may have seen my vlogs on the holiday on the Best in Slot channel. I was in a really, really good place. And then I got back from the holiday and I was super depressed <laughs> and it kind of fell apart. And my training wasn't very good and my food wasn't very good. And I put quite a lot of weight back on. It must be like a, a good, A large amount. A very large amount. Um, you know what, I'm just going to talk openly about it because I feel confident enough that I will have sorted it by the time you folks see this video. Um, between... In the last year, I put like 80 pounds on. Literally 80 pounds. Now, which for me isn't necessarily as much as it might sound because I was always a big guy and blah, blah, blah. But 80 pounds is a lot of weight. 80 pounds in a year, basically, I put back on. Um, depression and various other factors all just kind of went into that and it just it just kind of tumbled really badly and it's really only this week that I've felt confident that I am going to be able to revert the damage as it were and get back to where I was last year and then even further you know past that I've got like another 50 pounds I want to lose and keep lifting and getting hench um, my problem is I, I want. I, I'm a little impatient. I'm not gonna lie. I like things to happen quickly, at least at the start. You know, I want to get back to a place where I'm more comfortable, and then I can slow down and take it a little bit easier, right? So I'll continue talking after the fight because you just can't hear me during these fights unless I shout. I don't want to shout. It's too early in the morning. Jess, Leash Master Var Varel. That mage. The mage is somewhere. Oh god. Alright, Isabella, calm down. <laughs> what is my quest marker here for? Okay. Why is it over there? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Oh, hey guys. That's why. These were probably meant to join in the fight and they just come down over. Still not done though. Um, it's a put a lot of weight back on. And also, I didn't train for like I talked about this in the last video, or well, two videos ago, but I haven't really trained for the last couple months. I've done. A bit here and there, but very, very little. Which is a shame, because I really enjoy it. I was training six days a week, but... You know, when you're struggling with depression, it's hard to get out of bed. Never mind, go train for two hours a day, six days a week, you know? So, yeah, I, um, I've, I've, it, it's, it's been a rough period. But, as I say... I, it, it's, it's, it's hard to say too much because it's only been a few days, really. It's only this week. Today is Friday for me. And it's really only this week that I've started to feel ready again to kind of train and eat well and get back to where I was. And, but because it's only been a few days, you kind of don't want to say too much about it. You don't want to, like, you know, you don't want to count your chickens before they've got hedge. As the well known saying goes. But. If you've been in the situation, you might know what I mean by when I just say, you kind of, you kind of know, you kind of get a feeling for when it's going to be right or like when you're in the right place mentally to tackle this kind of thing, because it's a heavy weight on your on your mind, honestly. Am I done here? What's going on? I really don't know what's going on with this quest. I've killed. I've killed that person. I'm gonna leave and see if that helps. Um, 
But anyway, my point was I get a little impatient, so I just want to go back to somewhere uncomfortable and I can slow down a little bit, right? Is what I'm thinking. So I'm doing what's called a PSMF, which is a protein sparing modified fast. And the idea is that you eat fairly minimal calories, a calorie amount that most people would go like, ah, and get a little bit spooked by. What is going on with this? Wait, that's best served cold. How am I over here? Why Why am I nowhere near the alleyway and why, is, why do I still have this quest? I'm so confused. Right, let's go back to the alleyway again. <laughs> um, but basically the idea is that you get enough fat and you get enough protein. It's, it's keto, so you don't really take in any carbs whatsoever. Well, definitely not more than 20. And you basically just eat protein, <laughs> essentially, and then supplement the fat as need be, you know, for general health. Um, the idea being to eat as low calories as possible to emphasize weight loss, but to keep your protein nice and high to retain as much muscle as, as possible. So you have to keep lifting during this. You can't do this and not lift, otherwise you just, you'd just hemorrhage muscle. And I don't want to lose weight, inverted commas. I want to lose fat, it, specifically, because I've, I've worked hard on building muscle. I've done a lot of lifting. I've lifted a lot of heavy things. You know, it'd be a shame to... This quest is bugged to fuck, isn't it? Yep. Um, it would be a shame to lose that, you know, I'm deadlifting over 300 pounds, I'm now bench pressing nearly 250 pounds, overhead press nearly 150 pounds, you know, my, my lifts are getting really good, I'm like hitting intermediate sort of levels of lifting. So I don't want to lose that, although it will be harder to maintain for a little bit. But I also kind of need to get a little bit snappier, get things going a little bit quicker, you know. I'm giving up on this mission. This is I'm just gonna Google it actually to see if, if see if anyone's mentioned it. Like we do. We check we check the wiki and see if anything's mentioned about it on there. Uh, what's it called? Raining it in. Raining it in DA2 booked. Uh Come on, fetch your life. But anyways, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. And um Okay. Someone just says keep going around the map. Hmm. Someone's, and then there's another comment saying that there's a bug about uh, if you loot. Bugs, bugs. Oh, okay. Right, we're gonna try one more time. I think we have to wander around the map like crazy to try and like root out all the little enemies. Um, there is a specific bug mentioned that if you loot the the ringleader that we killed before you've killed everyone else, it can cause the quest to, to bug out. And I think we may have done that. One last try. The completionist in me will not allow me to <laughs> just leave this alone, you know? Also, I'm trying to chat, and this is a nice way to be able to talk. Um, but yeah, so... But obviously, that does have an impact on your metabolism, because you're, you're taking in very few calories. I'm taking about 180 grams of protein a day, which is a lot of protein, but the calorie amount is still very, very low. I'm not being as efficient as I should be, because I'm eating chicken thigh rather than chicken breast. But I love chicken thigh, and I don't really like chicken... Man, chicken breast is great as well, but I prefer chicken thigh to chicken breast. And, you know, consistency and... Being able to stick to what you're doing and actually enjoy it somewhat is a very important thing as well. Anyway, it's getting off track. So, but obviously, it, it's not great for your metabolism. So what people do is something called an ECA stack, typically, which is ephedra, caffeine, and aspirin. And the idea is the ephedra in particular, um, in combination with the caffeine, which just kind of gets it moving through your body, it kind of um, <clears throat> combats the effects of the metabolism lowering. There we go. Knew we could do it. <laughs> Um, it also increases your blood pressure and stuff like that, and it's not something people should do lightly. You should do it with doctor supervision, and you should test yourselves and ease into it, yada yada. I'm not, this is not medical advice. Please don't do what I'm suggesting here. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, because I've heavily researched the subject and know what I'm talking about. Um, but the ephedra counteracts the effects of the lower metabolism, but it also dehydrates you. 
and can cause problems. So you just need to make sure you're very hydrated, which is why I need to keep drink, stopping to drink water. I'm going to do it right now. You know, a few litres a day. And also when working out, I take in a few carbs, fire and energy drink kind of thing, because otherwise I don't think I'd be able to lift, basically. <laughs> but um, that is my life at the moment. 500 grams of chicken fire a day and a couple of clear whey isolate protein shakes. And then the ephedra, so the ECA stack. I only do an ECA, EC stack, I drop the aspirin, because the aspirin I don't think is that helpful and has medical problems associated with it and uh, modern literature would suggest you don't need the aspirin. It's probably safer to do it without the aspirin. Anyways, I'll start. <laughs> that's about it anyway. <laughs> now you know what I'm doing. I told you she was hunting us! No, not her. I can't do this. Just talk to me, you numpties. I'm not hunting you. To arms! So many problems in this game would be resolved if people just had a conversation, you know? Like, I don't want to kill you guys. I really don't. You're really not leaving me with much choice. Oh, Meryl. Where will Meryl, 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 Meryl? Is she still in blood form? Looks like it. Somehow we've kept her alive anyway. No, I don't think it's over. Protect Meryl! Protect Meryl! Oh, now she's bloody moved. Okay. That should be alright now. So many Templars working with the mages. I got what you need right here. I told them not to do it, I swear. If I knew you were the one they were talking about, I'd have warned you. I don't hold with kidnapping. Not after what I went through. Karen? Didn't I save your life? You did. Believe me. I still dream about those blood mages. I don't know where I'd be without you. I'd never have let them kidnap anyone I knew was one of yours. I don't like where this is heading. They said someone was spying. We needed leverage. Someone they cared about. As a hostage. We just got word they took one of the Templar apprentices. A lad named Carver. Just tell me where they went. I can't waste any time. They left for the ruins on the wounded coast. We have a kind of base there. They they should have just talked to you. I know you're a reasonable person. You have to see how dangerous Meredith is. Thrask says Meredith will cause open war with the mages if she stays in charge. We have to take her down. I'm not your enemy in this. I think Meredith is a dangerous zealot. Then talk to Thrask. He would welcome your aid. I promise you, Meredith is the only one we're trying to harm. I I'll go back to Masha's. Please, don't tell Meredith about me. It would kill Masha if I got in trouble. I can just, if they just talk to me, about 20 of your people have just died because they didn't bother to open their mouths and say anything. It's very silly. Well. Oh, new quest, Blade of Mercy. Is it just a hand-in? Oh, that's for Femris. All right, cool. 
Go do that, and we'll go hand in the Kunari blade. We're all about blade turnings today, apparently. And then we will uh, head off to the coast. Yet again. Silly mages. Silly Templars. But anyways. <laughs> anyways. That's what's going on with my life. Um, some people will see it as a little bit extreme. People freak out. I know, having told people about it before. Oh, hello. Oh, Anders. Well done, Anders. But it's one of those things that people freak out about because they don't understand. <laughs> they don't know all the info and they freak out. I am a very well... Re I like, I'm not... Uh, this is not me bigging myself up here, but I mean, I have a degree in biomedical science. I'm very well researched on the subject. I do know what I'm doing. You know, I, I don't go into these things lightly. I, I go into these things... Obs I obsessively research basically everything <laughs> if I commit to it. You know, if I'm going to buy, like, a TV or something, I'll research for <laughs> 100 hours or something stupid. Um, I don't tend to commit to things like that or this without knowing the science behind it. And that will not stop people reacting, going, ah, no, you can't do this, you can't do that, because, for, I mean, from my perspective, oh, this is going to get into the whole thing, but from my perspective, people's nutritional knowledge is subpar at best as a, like a, a wider planet and that's not people's fault the nutrition industries the fitness industries etc etc are built on lies essentially propagated largely by food companies nowadays originally by the american health association back in the 1970s um it's funny you can track i've talked about this before but i'm gonna talk about it again it's important you can track the rise of obesity in the US, specifically to the introduction of the American Health Association, Heart Association, and their guidelines they published in the 70s about the food pyramid and how foods, you know, what foods you should prioritize and stuff like that. And uh, they put carbs right there at the bottom. Like, the important thing is eat lots of grains and rice and bread and yada, yada, yada. And then, obviously, companies ran with that and... There's nothing wrong with carbs. I, I have no intention of demonizing carbs. And keto is not for me personally, anyway, generally speaking. But I will say, if you want to lose a little bit of weight, keto is an easy way to go. Because most, it's very hard to overeat on protein and fat. Even fat, but people demonize fat and people shouldn't demonize fat. Demon, fat is necessary and good, whereas carbs are not necessary. They're good for things like training performance. But you can live your life without carbs and be absolutely 100% okay. Whereas you can't live your life without protein or fat. Have you located any Canari blades? This is what I found. My task is complete. You didn't do anything. Your part in this <laughs> will be noted. I must go. Alright. Good. Carry on. Basrafkata. Oh, we got stuff. That's cool. It's not very good, but it's cool. We're not doing these things for... We're doing these things just for completion now. We're doing these things... Oh, wait, isn't Ferris's mansion here somewhere? Uh, is there? Yeah, let's go. We'll, we'll chat to him while we're here. I don't like... I could go on about this, Rage. Right? There's lots of, like, myths that I think are very prevalent about what people need and stuff like that. And... You know, it's because certain... Like, fasting, for example. I'm a big proponent of fasting. I think fasting is really good and... People should be more open to it, but people freak out. They're like, you can't not eat for like three whole days. And I'm not saying it's viable for everyone, but there's a lot of very well-researched factual health benefits to fasting. Like genuine, really good health benefits like autophagy and stuff like that. But people freak out because we've had it drilled into our heads that it's this unhealthy thing. Even though it's been part of religion for centuries, millennia, you know, been part of cultures for millennia. But people freak out about it. It's st that is starting to turn a little bit because intermittent fasting has become so popular in the last few years. I think eventually people will turn to full-on fasting, maybe one or two days a week. It's a mechanism of control. But it's gonna take it's gonna take decades till people accept it. It'll happen, but it'll take a while. Take a look at this. A blade of mercy. I remember these. You see them in the Imperium. Replicas of the sort Archon Hasarian used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. So they sell these things at every market stand in Minrathus? Hardly. Here, let me show you.
These are gifts of honor, given to those who have performed a service for the Imperium. Denarius coveted them, as I recall. The blade is yours, if you want it. For me? Yes. I think I'd like that. I'll think of the irony as I wield it. Thank you, Hawk. You're welcome, buddy. Oh, he wants to chat now. So he still gains friendship, interestingly enough, even if no one else does. You know, you could go anywhere you like now. I'm aware of that. Oh, you could become a raider. You could join my crew. The crew of your non-existent ship? Well, with that attitude, you're never going anywhere, are you? <laughs> you tell him. <laughs> she doesn't understand. Yes, I am free. Denarius is dead. Yet, it doesn't feel like it should. Seems like you should be dancing for joy. I would have thought so. I thought if I didn't need to run and fight to stay alive, I would finally be able to live as a free man does. But how is that? Whatever past I had died with my sister. I have nothing now. Not even an enemy. Maybe that just means there's nothing holding you back. Hmm. An interesting thought. It's just... difficult to overlook the stain that magic has left on my life. If I seem bitter, it's not without cause. Perhaps it is time to move forward. I just don't know where that leads. Do you? You want the answer right now? That would spoil all the fun. The future of a slave is never uncertain. But I am no longer a slave. Perhaps it is time I remember that. Thank you, Hawk. I would never have thought to call a mage my friend. Yet here you are. Wherever the future leads, I hope it is at your side. Aww. I'm actually quite excited to um, see... You know at the end of Origins where we kind of got like an overlook of where everyone went post Origins and all how all the stories wrapped up. I'm, I'm excited to see that again. That's always like my favorite, one of my favorite parts of the game really is seeing how everyone's story resolves by the end. Anyway, so I was saying, yeah, so again, I always feel, I always I feel, like every time I want to talk about something I'm good at, I feel like I have to preface it by saying it like I'm not trying to be big headed, but it's okay to acknowledge you're good at something. Um, one thing I'm really good at is predicting where the nutrition industry is going to go. I was saying about a decade ago that I almost guarantee that high protein foods are going to become ubiquitous. They're going to become very, very popular. And you're starting to see that more and more in shops. And give it another five years, ten years, they'll be all over the bloody place. But they've definitely started to increase. I go to a supermarket now. And things like protein yogurts have like an entire sort of fridge section dedicated to them. Protein ice creams have become more popular protein bread and stuff like protein wraps and things like that things with a higher protein content because people are realizing protein is important and in my opinion people don't get nearly enough protein in their diet you're gonna try to kill me yep. How about you? I wish I could have raised corpses. Blood mages could raise corpses. I might have considered it. Maybe, maybe they can actually. <laughs> I'm gonna check out with this. So it's a bit late now, but. Let's have a look. Oh. Well, here you are. You've been sticking your nose in every problem in Kirkwall since you stumbled off the boat. That does sound like me. You were the upstanding citizen begging coins to get your next flask of Lyrian. It's a long time since anyone could get under my skin with that. I know what I am. So it shouldn't surprise you to see me here, right? One more blockhead move that's gonna keep me in the gutter. I just wanted to see Meredith out in her ass. Like she did to me. Meredith does seem to have a serious case of the crazies, yes. But is she wrong? I'd hoped with Meredith gone I could take up the shield again. 
But maybe she was right. Give them a hint of freedom, mages go bad. Your friends are right. Without Meredith, Kirkwall can be at peace again. Is it that simple? No, probably not. I'd cheer to see her ship to Val Royo. But I don't have the stomach to turn against all that's right and natural to do it. Alright, good chat, buddy. Hmm. Anyways, so... <clears throat> Uh, it's the same with keto. Keto things are all over the place now. Like people advertising low carb, and I think low fat will become less popular with time. There are benefits to low fat in that people can sort of offer it as a low calorie option. But fat is really good. Fat is necessary and healthy and good for your hormone levels and good for your hair production and skin and good for your nails and all that kind of jazz. And we need fat to survive. At least like forty grams a day. So uh, people need to chill out with demonizing fat as well. Uh, which happened, it was a big thing, like the 2000s in particular, everything was low fat, low fat, low fat, because everyone was like, no, fat's bad, fat makes you fat, because that sounds logical. It's not reality, though, you know, fat is no worse than protein or carbon or anything like that. Any other macronutrient? Well, those are the three, but still. Uh, I guess I have to stop talking. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh. Hey, bro. I suppose it was too much to hope that he wouldn't have come here. Though I can't understand why you side with Meredith now. You showed me we can stand up to her. When you fought off Karas's thugs to save those mages. Please, champion. I have nothing but respect for you. It's Meredith we must see gone. I don't support Meredith. Your cause is just. But I take issue with your methods. I should have known you recognize the threat Meredith poses. I am sorry for any distress we caused you or your friends. Let the hostage go. No. The boy dies. Then the champion. Stand down, Grace. Grace, do you really want to do this? After everything we've done for you? We will not kill an innocent to achieve our ends. It gains us nothing to become Meredith. Meredith. What do I care for Meredith? I'm here for the champion. Well, I mean, that, that, didn't I help you? I've been wondering when you'd come back to bite me in the ass. Decimus was right. There is no way for a mage to live by the Chantry's laws. You killed the best man I ever met, but I learned all he had to teach. Elaine, kill the hostage. I... I don't know, Grace. I thought you turned your back on blood magic, when you saw what happened to Decimus. You don't know what it's like. We're locked in our cells all day, no light, no air. The Templars ask things of us. When Thrask offered a chance to make a better circle, I had to take it. But... Grace, this isn't right. Meredith's to blame for what's happening, not the champion. Don't defy me, boy. Without me, you'd be nothing. If you're too squeamish, I'll do it myself. You're not going to do shit, Grace. No. No one has to die here. <laughs> oh, but that's where you're wrong. Restrain yourself. It's always a crazy. Forget the hostage. Kill the champion. I'm not all well, at least he didn't turn. Why are they why are the Templars turning on me? Look at what she just did, you numpties. If I have one problem with the, st the story here, it's that it really functions just because everyone's a goddamn idiot. <laughs> you know, if people were just slightly more intelligent, we could sort all this out. Stop 
freak first! If we kill them, we get that stop! I like how they're, they're still set to call me a freak, even though they're fighting with all these apostate mages. What the heck? There we go. I think we both happen to fetch by at exactly the same time. I tried to stay away from her, you know. After Decimus. But the circle here is worse than Stark Haven ever was. It seemed like hers was the only way out. That's fair. I. I'm sorry. Grace used blood magic to hold him. There's no other way to wake him up. Get out of my... What? Where am I? I promise. I'll never let anything like this happen again. Thank you, sister. It seems I am again in your debt. And shadow. They're meeting in here, Sir Callan. Oh, I guess you didn't get on so well with these mages as you thought. Champion, Samson never said you were involved in this. I trust you were here to stop these traitors, not join them. The champion's a fine lady, sir. She wanted to solve this peacefully. Yeah. Put the mage to questioning. No, 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 no. The boy stood up to his elders when they would have killed an innocent hostage. Hmm. <laughs> you mean he was one of them, save for a convenient last-minute change of heart? I'll encourage Meredith to take it easy on him. Thank you, champion. Everyone else here is under arrest. Take them to the gallows. Is there any recommendation you would have me bring to Meredith, champion? If you killed every man who doubted Meredith's fitness, Kirkwall would be a ghost town. You think that reason enough to spare blood mages and their willing dupes? <sighs> Perhaps some of them might still be saved. This didn't go particularly well, did it? <laughs> People are just stupid. Everyone's just being stupid. The tiger's tail. It's a lot of attack. I don't really care. No, it's not very good. But I saw the champion piece. The final gear. Of the champion. The hood of the champion. So, right. Obviously, I'm going to gain armor because the Enchanter Alana stuff is like two levels back. I don't know. Um... <clears throat> All of this has higher armor. Let's just throw it all on and see what the set bonus is. Obviously it looks cooler, I'll say that much. Which is very important. Uh, abilities... Let's look down here. Magic 3, Defense 5. That's rubbish. Okay, cool. Right, so... Let's have a look at the stats. Uh, health versus... No, that's fine. So the stats on the champion armor aren't particularly good. I think they're probably a little bit stronger, but they're not compared to the set bonus from the Alana set. So the champion set is out, at least temporarily. So what we need to do, what we need to do now is have a look at the um, the other robe I wanted to see if that's worth using over the set bonus, which I think is what twenty four percent or is it less? What is it? Oh, it's only ten percent. I think that still makes it better than the champion set. But does it make it better than using the other robe? And I suspect not. I think the final solution is going to be the other robe and then various other pieces. But we'll we'll see. But I, I, feel, I feel like that's where things are going. We'll find out in a minute. Glom Glom and uh, Boris. How you doing, guys? Is it Boris? Was it Boris? I think it was Boris. Anyways, so I'll stop talking about it now. The fitness stuff annoys me. It's it's not it's 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 not it's not, it's not even people's fault, you know. Well, I get annoyed when people try to educate me on something that I'm more educated than them on, you know. If people are genuinely educated on it, then I'm happy to chat about it. But like my dad tries to talk to me about it, tries to tell me what I'm doing is silly. I'm like, you, you don't know. You're just saying that because what you've been fed by the media over the last 
three decades of your life, you don't actually know this information at all. Whereas I've read countless scientific papers, etc., etc. You know, like I've actually done my research. This is really, and it's not, it's not, I'm not popping off at my dad here. And this isn't even about nutrition. You'll see it on like, on Twitter, and someone will be talking about trans rights and stuff like that. And the people who are against it, the people who are always, it's usually a right wing kind of thing, they'll say, oh, do your research, do your research. And their research is like a Facebook post or a Joe Rogan podcast or something like that. You know, when people say do your research, they never actually mean do research. They mean parrot what they've heard from the influencer they like the most. <sighs> the fire, oh, God, I wish that was fire damage. Right. I mean, this robe has to be better, right? I mean, look, we gain armor for a start, which is cool. I'm gonna grab it. It's very expensive, but I don't care. I wonder if any of these gloves are good. No. No. Ah, it's got two slots. I wonder if that's better. No, probably not. Let's have a look around. Minus six fret gen isn't bad, but the rest of the stats are kind of rubbish. If I was a blood mage, I'd probably use those. Okay, so. I gain 10% fire, cold, etc. damage by using the full set, right? But obviously, if we swap to this one, we gain 24%. So we gain 14% more fire, cold, and electricity damage. We lose the physical damage, but that's less of a big deal. Wait, is this nature or physical? It's physical, so we'd lose damage on this, but we gain 14% on everything else. We also lose 48 health, 5 mana, and 135 defense. However, we also gain 2 to all attributes, and 50 armor, and 28% 20, 20 healing. Let me just look what this does to my stats. Health goes down by 50, which is quite a lot, actually. Oh, no, I'm not comparing that to this. I'm comparing it to this, realistically. Oh, yeah. Keeps moving them in annoying places. I mean, I, I, I lose about 50 health. Although, Rose of the Champion have even less on. I lose about 50 health. Did they look the same? Oh, yeah, near enough. That's quite handy, actually. I actually might prefer them. <laughs> um, I was looking at all my stats. Bear with me. Obviously, wait, why do I lose armor? Oh, no, it's defense. That's defense, not armor. Yeah, at least 20% on that as well. But damage, man. <laughs> damage. And we gain armor. We do gain 4% armor, which isn't much. I think it's worth doing. So the question now is what do we put in the other slots? For So now we can compare the Alanis. Because we're not using the Alanis set bonus anymore. Right? You have to wear every... Do you have to wear every single piece? Yeah. Because we're not wearing the Alana set bonus anymore, it's now a case of going through each piece and seeing whether the champion or the Alana piece is the better piece. All right. So this one is... Do I need attack? No, I don't need attack, so the attack is pointless. So it's 19 health, 54 defense, and 2 mana. Right, we can get rid of the 2 mana. So it's 19 health and 54 defense against 21 mana. Basically. Which would suggest that this one is better. Gloves. 12 health versus 12 mana. Again, attack, which I don't need. So again, not using the... Am I not wearing the champion set at all? They've all got attack on. It feels pointless. No, I think this is I think this is what we're rocking, actually. And I need to grab a plus two to all attributes. It's hard to find. <laughs> Me. Really. I'm not going to throw away the champion set because I, I, or the Alana set because I'd be a little paranoid about that. So we're going to go drop those off at the house. I also need to enchant anyway. But, uh, yeah, weirdly enough, we are not using the set bonus. It's just too small. I'm all about that damage. Like, if I can get fire damage in particular, but also cold damage, electricity damage, we're going to prioritize that over basically everything else. You know. Well, let's throw this stuff Welcome into storage. Home. Oh, I forgot I've got all this nonsense in here. That's really annoying. Interesting. Huh. Huh. I 
Obviously, I lose 8%, but I gain magic resist. I gain 10 mana regen. Let's, let's have a look what it looks like. If it looks better, we might actually use that instead, you know. Um... Now that we're in the end game, I think I'm going to start throwing this stuff on. So Apostate's Mask is definitely better as well. I think that's all I've got as an option. Yeah, I think so. No boots with fire damage, maybe? That would be nice. No? No. What about gloves? Where are the, where are the mage ones? Might already be using them. Any chance the weapon is any... Ooh. No. Any chance you got a decent staff? Malcolm's on it. Hmm, no. What about any of these? Fenris only, Sebastian only, Carver only, Varric only. Carver only, Fenris only. Absolutely nothing. Just have to focus for a second. <laughs> oh, I saw fire damage. Oh, yeah, I've got 19% now. Mine's crazy. Um, I, th I think this might be better. I get an extra slot. We gain four magic, which is a lot. Well, we gain two magic. We gain 10 mana regen, which is a lot, though. And we gain 11 magic resist. We lose... It depends what it looks like. If it looks cooler, we're going to wear it. Right, we have to go find out. I need to leave. <laughs> if it looks cooler, we're wearing it. If it doesn't, we're not. Oh, it's pretty cool. I can't go back. No, I can't. Just... Back we go. Oh, no, I've just spent so much money on this, though. So much money. Eight percent damage is not that much. Not at the rate. It's more like you know three or four percent, given the percentages we're talking at this point. In terms of the actual multiplicative effect. Plus, we actually lose two mana, so we'd actually... Magic, so we'd actually do less. We obviously were less tanky with this new one, but we do get an extra slot. Yeah, screw it. I'm going to wear this new one. <laughs> so that was completely pointless waste of money. Fantastic. I mean, we'll, we'll keep this anyway. I'm going to keep the champion, the Alana, and the cleanliness, just for future use. Oh, right, yeah. And we got a new helmet, right? The Apostate's Mask. Do I want that? Yeah, of course I do. 42 mana. Really good. 3 mana regenerate and then 10% more damage. Sweet. Throw it on. We're at the end game. I may as well use this stuff. I've, I've been avoiding using all this for most of the game, but now that we're at the very end, we may as well. Right, I need to sort out my... So we need... I've got Electricity Resist. We need Fire Resist Spirit. No, we've got Fire Resist there. Oh, bear with me. We want the Rune of Valiance. I'm only allowed one of those. I don't think we've got Spirit Resist. Let's throw that on. So I've got Spirit... I've got Fire Resist. I've got Spirit Resist. I might put Fire Resist on the gloves and on the, uh, the helmet instead. Because you get more of it. <laughs> Enchantment. We can stack things like... Um, Wait, a, a a piece of armor can... Wait, 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 wait. Can we use multiple of these? It's just that each piece can only have one. I think, can I do this? Oh, that's a big deal. And so the fact that these have two slots each is actually really important. I'm going to throw this on everything. Screw it. Who needs resistances when we can do this? Bam. 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 That's plus eight to all attributes. Got a lot of a. Well, it's still got really low health, but. Okay, so we've got spirit resist, and I'm gonna throw fire resist on the helmet, I think. And I wanna do this for everyone. <laughs> Let me just. 
So is that the same with Devastation then? Increases all damage for dual wielders, yeah, but Isabella's already got that special one, so we don't want that anyway. Why have I bought so many Valiance runes? <laughs> I already had a bunch of them and I keep buying more of them. I need a fire resist rune. Okay, that's my gear done. Um, so yeah, this could have Valiance on it, I said. I don't know if that's better, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Screw fire resist. Valiance on everything! Screw resistance. <laughs> she doesn't need it. She just needs stats. There you go, Meryl. Basically, every single armor piece in the game is going to have Valiance on it. If it's something that's used by my party. I guess I'll throw one on. Uh, you know what? I'll just, while we're here. While we're here. Everyone's got three slots. I'm surprised there's not more armor pieces across my parties. Where's everyone else? Hmm. <clears throat> Where's Isabella's other weapon? Not sure. All right, I think that is us done. Lots of fire damage. So let, let's have a look at our fire damage. So we're on 16%, uh, 26%, uh, 42%, 52, 61, 85%, 86% fire damage. So 186% plus we've got 50, so we're on 236% fire damage, I think. It's pretty, pretty, pretty bonkers. Right, let's go find out what we look like, <laughs> and then go sell some things, and then uh, we'll call that day. Enchantment. Will. Yeah, we look alright. It's not my favourite looking set in the world, but it's not my least favourite looking set in the world either. Clear out the old inventory, and we are done Soul Washington. I'll stop talking about things now as well. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I'm passionate about things, <laughs> sue me. I don't think people actually care, so it's fine. How do we look? Eh, it's all right. It's all right. It, it's 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 magey, but it's warrior magey, which I think is cool. Don't think I need any of this, do I? I'm pretty sure level up. Do I want that on? Yeah, I probably want to keep that for Fenris. Although that's replacing. I'll keep hold of it anyway. It's because he got the new one from the quest we just did. Two crit, five grand. Yeah, I'll throw that on Ferris as well at some point. Like you know your way around a weapon. Can I grab Fenris? Do we have a, a thingy around here somewhere? An organize your party block. A blob blurb. No organized party blob blurbs? The anchor from our mages is no. We'll do it sometime. Right, so unexpected gear change. Um I've wasted that bloody rope, completely unnecessary squandering of 150 gold, but I don't think it'll matter at this point in time, so that's fine. Uh, we will end it there. Thank you very much for joining me. Next video, we're going to talk to Orsino and build towards whatever's coming, you know, what's going to be the end of this Mage Templar War that it's building up to and the disastrous thing that I'm apparently responsible for, according to um, Cassandra. I guess we'll find out soon. Thank you for joining me. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.